your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. And welcome to Guardian Radio AM. Today is Thursday. Thursday, what month is this? Today is January, February, March, April, May, June, go on, July. It's not August yet. So it's July. July 11th. Yes, Independence Day was yesterday. And it's a little after 11 o'clock in the morning. Once again, this is C.A. Nuri and I shall be your host for the day as we have an open line Thursday. Every so often we have an open line Thursday so you can speak about what you have on your mind. So we can speak about what is trending and so we can hash things out. Today, I have one or two things I want to put to the fore, to have a discussion on, to deliberate on. Um, things that is trending on social media, and of course, things that is trending on the news. Um, I know Aaron want to talk about the honors, and I, I could talk about that. Because finally, finally, after some lobbying, I'm not sure if Bohemians know that we've been, the people have been lobbying. I have been lobbying. I have mentioned this before for several years. I, I, Aaron reminded me that 11 years ago, I posted that Kate Moss, poor black Kate, needs to be recognized as a bohemian hero, right? And, and we pulled up the post 11 years ago when I mentioned it. And then um, it was a total of about four to five posts over the years that I said, hey, what about poor black Kate? And um, I, I, I'm pleased to say this administration, this administration has taken up that mantle and has finally recognized Kate Morse. But there's no narrative. I mean, there's a write-up. Yeah. And when I say there's no narrative, there should, I mean, hopefully, there is a continuation of, of education of the Bohemian public. Because few Bohemians know who Kate, mm -hmm. by extension, Moss is. And by extension, few people know who these people who are being honored, these honorees are. Right. There, there are no, once again, there are no bios available for individuals who would like to know why, why? these individuals have been selected. Mm -hmm. Just for general knowledge, but also so that if I aspire to be recognized yes. in the national honor system, what would I have to do? What would my life and my contributions to my country and my country, men and women, have to look like for me to be able to qualify to reach the criteria for this award. And then before you go and list some of the names that you have, um, what, do you are you aware of Kate Moss? And I, I and I, I get uneasy when you mention the name Moss because Moss will be her adopted slave name, mm -hmm. and I don't think that uh, she had that name as yet. But we recognize as Kate Moss. Uh, and also, um, I want to commend and recognize Dr. Ian Strawn for his book, where he created a novel mm -hmm. based on the character or the person, the persona of Kate Moss. And that is a really good book to understand who she was. And mind you, we, need, we have a number of enslaved Africans or formerly enslaved Africans mm -hmm. who are worthy of being recognized. And Kate Moss, and, and let Aaron speak on it, her death went, and this, this day and day is viral, right? That's similar. It went to the United Kingdom, and this helped perp perpetrated the need for emancipation, her death. Mm -hmm. They used this particular case and cited it in the courts in the United Kingdom back then. Um, so she is globally significant mm -hmm. and recognized throughout the Caribbean. And we have a number of, um, and I can say loosely bohemians, just because they were born into the Bahamas or were enslaved in the Bahamas, I could use that term, bohemians, in that slavery era, who are globally recognized. And we need to do more to propel in and herald in that story to say that we are proud, a proud nation, and this proud nation existed for centuries, mm -hmm. not just post-independence, but centuries of narratives of people who lived in the Bahamas who were worthy of being heralded and worthy of being recognized, and their narrative needs to be told. But go ahead. What do you know about Kate? 
And then well, you, you start off your listing of, of your mom who's been on it. I Mrs. see some... Mrs. Lila Green? Yes. We mentioned all of that. Absolutely. Uh, so the first thing I want to know, uh, Kate, last name of a s slave master, Moss, was received or was given posthumously the Order of, a, of National Hero. The Order of National Hero. Uh, from the right up, it's also very difficult to find any information on what this means, the Order of National Hero. It wasn't included in the write-up from the February 12th, 2024. I also object to this. Is, it, is that a new listing, a new title, Order of Heroes? What is? No, no, Order of National Hero. It's, it, it's, it's not new. It, it is, I think, the, I think it's the premier honor in our national okay. honor systems. I thought I had a page where I uh, included the description, the brief description that I found from the article. Okay, so she received Order of National Hero. My first objection is she was not a former slave. She was a, for, she formerly enslaved. Africans were not slaves, they were enslaved. They weren't born, they were born as humans, enslaved by other humans who thought they were gods. From the press release from the Office of the Governor General, the legend of Kate Moss in history indicates that she was a young house slave on the plantation in Crooked Island owned by slave owners Henry and Helen Moss. During her early service, Kate refused to mend clothes as instructed by her owners and consistently refused to carry out negative orders from her quote unquote owners. You remember the little girl, what the little girl name was Pumpkin or Muffin, the one who was getting beat. Muffin. And she ran away she and ran jumped away. the fence. She jumped the fence. You all know, you all know exactly why she jumped the fence. Yeah, she got tired. Uh, taken beaten. Mm -hmm. And then we make fun of Muffin. But Muffin was tired. A uh, getting beaten for no reason. Mm -hmm. Physically, emotionally, psychologically. Her refusals in the era of slavery caused her repeatedly severe punishment from which she eventually died. Abolitionists in England learned about the plight of Kate and called Kate Poor Black Kate. And when the authorities in Nassau heard about her death, they charged Henry and Helen Moss with murder. They were found guilty and the magistrates sentenced them to pay fines totaling 300 pounds or spend five months in Nassau's common jail. At the time, 300 pounds is a lot of money. A lot of money. Not enough money for human life, but still a lot of money. Kate's death and her action against slavery became big news on both sides of the Atlantic in the late 1820s and the 1830s, and it was used to strengthen the growing demand for the abolition of slavery, a movement in England led principally by William Wilberforce. Kate's actions to stand up for herself would become an act of defiance that was strong enough to make an impact on slavery worldwide and impacted on the history of the Bahamas and the world and must never be forgotten. The National Honors Committee, therefore, recognizes Kate Moss for a timely and determined courage demonstrated against racism and slavery. And I want to say to Muffin, we saw it. We saw it. Hmm. We were concerned. We care. We understand. I hope Muffin is doing well, wherever she is now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, a couple of... A couple of notes, uh, Mr. Neary. Again, we had, I think, July 4th or 5th or 6th was the National Day of Learning. Mm -hmm. And a wonderful uh, opportunity, I think, was missed. I'm not sure if the Independent Secretariat was aware of the names on the National Honors List, but that day could have been used for collective learning where we could all learn about Kate Moss primarily. Yes receiving the Order of National Hero, and about the work and contributions of those on this year's list. Yes. And hopefully next year we will take that opportunity. I also want to make a note, Mr. Neary, remember when I was talking about the, the expenditure report for the 50th anniversary celebrations? We got it. And you told me, if you said, you ain't read the article where Her Excellency said that she's no longer working for them? Yes. But this year... They must see call up on the, the night before and gear the job. 
to give her the job again because she herself was saying as a as a as a co-chair of the committee so i just is a little concerned like how come you gave up the job and got it back so quickly y'all ain't even put it out to bid you ain't even put it out to tender you mm. you just i don't know but still we still waiting on the expenditure report is this a for the paid 50. job she has now or just just say man I'll, I'll volunteer and do it when your name is her excellency you don't ask what your country could do for you you ask what you could do for your country mm. i also want to note and i think it is the order of distinction companion a Mr. Terence Bastian is being honored as well. In fact, this particular category, Order of Distinction Companion, has a, a large number of former PSs and senior public servants on the list. But you want to let's start at the top or you want to take this call, Mr. Newry? Uh, let's start at the, uh, the caller first and then we just run through the list and, ex and, and ask questions and query. Go ahead, caller. Can you hear me? Hi, see, how are you, man? Doing well, man. See, yes, man. Well, uh, Aaron, how are you doing now? Good, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. I, I wonder if you guys see the irony in uh, even mention of the bravery, I'm sure, and courage of uh, Kate Moss being honored, but the, the Governor General, who is the King's representative, who were our enslavers, they're all over the independent celebrations. I heard them on the... And it's nothing against them. It's just what the monarchy represents. And they're present in what is supposed to be a 51-year independent country. And I don't hear a lot of people discussing that. If we are truly liberated and independent of the British and all things from them, why are they so intertwined in... Uh, well, I mean, our system of governance, number one... But our independent celebrations, that don't seem strange <laughs> to you guys? I think we want to be independent like Canada, or we want to be independent like Australia, or we want to be independent like uh, uh, New Zealand, that type of independence. So we seek to be that type of independence, and we're content with that. See, just, just by definition, right? And, and granted, our, our transfer was a peaceful one, which, which was great, but... Independence is independence, ultimately, right? Yes. And it doesn't. It doesn't appear to be strange that the no. the office of the governor general, who is the king's representative, our former enslavers. Yeah, yeah but she represents Mother Pratt. Part of recognizing you, you don't uh, try to defame. Try not to defame Mother Pratt for me. It's not Mother Pratt then, then personally. Just that's let's, the, just, that's just talk about her then. Yes, let's talk about her. Yeah, I hear you. Yes, let's just talk okay, about no, her. It's not, it's not Mother Pratt. She's, she's been a good a woman. Great source. Um, and Mother Pratt wanted to be involved. And Mother Pratt wanted to be involved. I'm talking about the office. And, the I'm talk, and I am the talking about. Monarchy. And I want to talk about Mother Pratt. She wanted to be involved. And I say thank you, Mother Pratt. Thank you for well, being a part of our well, independence. Well. And I herald her because she's in, a in good woman. In your capacity woman. as the Governor General, who is the King's representative in our country. I only want to talk about nation. Mother Pratt. Have a great day, C.A. Have a wonderful day, man. <laughs> <laughs> you Mother might, Pratt is a good woman. You mind, C.A. is going to tell you, you don't mind me and my cousin Charles fighting. You know, we fight, would you say, to rot it? We fighting. I just want to talk about Mother Pratt. She, does she look lovely when she come and present everything? You know the song by... Um, uh, what's his name? Bougie Banton. He say, me no trust phone. Me no know, me no like. Me no trust kings. Me no know, me no like them. Yeah. Right? So, sir, we understand the thrust of your position, but I can tell you, me and my cousin Rowan, that don't mean you could get in the row. Okay? It's a bit about uh, how we operate. I'm just happy that Mother Pratt is well enough but to stand and be with us and celebrate that. You ain't asked the real question. The real question what, what is... is for all of the people who, not the people who demand discourse and interrogation of, of the state of things, but all of those people who say, we ain't independent, we ain't truly independent. Does the Bahamas collectively and do you individually have the capacity to be Cuba independent? Can you be North Korea independent? No, we won't be like that. Can you be Taiwan independent? Like how they trying to be? Like, but you didn't say that, so let's go to the phone line. Yeah. Let's go to the phone line. Go ahead, caller. Can you hear us? Good 
Good morning, Mr. Newey. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, celebrating Mother Pratt today on our Independence Day. Uh, great. Awesome. Uh, good morning, Ms. Green. Good morning, how are sir. you? I'm good, thank you. All right. Hey, Mr. Newey, I am the caller for last week. Not last week, that was on the 9th. I was the last caller. You remember? No, sir. Uh, when you when you had your guest uh, spoke about the the thousand years is one day. You remember now? Yes, I, I do there. remember. I, okay. Yes, I okay. Though you're not in this topic today, um, I understand you was a little bit confused while I spoke in concerning the thing. Could I, you I, please? No, no, no. I want to talk about this number? on Tuesday. Oh, okay, you can you please yeah, yeah, can give you it to the producer? my number? Yeah, can, can you let the producer The producer is going to take your number, so don't hang up the phone, and okay. that way you can give him the number privately and not on air. Okay, okay, all right. All right. I might have you come into the show and all to explain your thousand year. We'll see how that goes. Let's go to the next caller, producer, if you can. And if, or we gotta, yeah. Go ahead, caller. C.A. Hey. No is that you have the mic, right? Yes, I do have the mic and the uh, hang-up button. Princess Margaret Hospital to live, knowing that all those children are going to be out of school and minor things may happen to them. You know, do something for the Princess Margaret, even if you supply some Band-Aid, some alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Most of you my money goes toward supporting to Fox Hill. Do something for the Bahamian people, man. Most of my money goes towards supporting Fox Hill. No, you don't. See, the thing is, I'm I broke. talking about what you get pays. That's what you I'm saying. All, my, all my extra money. Out. Say it again. All my extra money goes to the community of Fox Hill. No, what I'm saying is, right? You want me robbed? No, I want you robbed. What if I behave yourself? I just what said I all of my money. Right? You should do all of my money spent. Listens to you, what would contribute if you say, well, you got to... Give it to the hospital or do something for the hospital. Let me start off with, Bremen, can I come by you and collect some money for the hospital? Huh, well, I'm, I'm not a poor, oh, I'm God not a rich person. man, but uh, month end, I would give you $50. Month end, I come in, I can ask you again. And whatever you give, I'll match. Okay, well, when, but, I, when I get my little something... Uh-huh. You, I'll call you and tell you to come for it. Yes, $50. and I will come for it, and I will match whatever, whatever you you I, give. I, I, I shall match it. Let's finish with man. I ain't got to talk about that anymore. No, no. Oh, man. I know. Thank, Thank you, you. Bremen. Thank you very much, Bremen. All right. You hear me? I'll match whatever Bremen give. Just only because you remember I owe you fifty dollars. Yes. So let's go to the article. The no, uh, the nomination process for the twenty twenty four National Honors Awards officially starts. That's from ZNS way back in February, February the twelfth, twenty. Four. First on the list is the National Hero Award, which is a rather limited category. Minister Mitchell explained that there are six national heroes, now seven. The Right Honorable Sir Lyndon Pinling, Sir Milo Butler, Sir Cecil Wallace Whitfield, Sir Roland Simonet, Sir Randall Fox, and Dame Doris Johnson. And now joining the list, the list is expanded to seven. And Kate Moss, former enslaved person, African, has now been added to the list of national honor. One must be a Bahamian to qualify or would have become a Bahamian as of 1973. So I think we deserve a little rationale as to how you either are going to expand the criteria for national hero mm -hmm. or specifically why, like you said, the narrative must be grander. Don't just tell us who she was, but give us more about why you're going to go beyond the criteria set up for the category and include her in this. It, it, it also appears that her challenge of her enslaved masters was the reason for her for her a reward or right. acknowledgement. But we have had a number of enslaved persons who challenged their slave master. Mm -hmm. So it cannot just be the challenge. It has to be something grander. Or is it that because her case became international, right. she's now being acknowledged as a... As a right. As a he, national, honorary, hero. national hero. This reminds me of the story of the first independence baby whose sister pled on his behalf to the government for support 
and given uh, the nature of his arrival on the earth mm. as the first baby born in an independent Bahamas, right? The, the government should reach out. And, but in that instance, the parents received the, the award at your birth. Mm -hmm. The award was to the parents. You did nothing but come. Mm -hmm. That's it, children cry, but yet they come. I mean, the getting here is important, but it was your parents that were given the award, right? In the same way, it's the case. Like, I think it's the, the, the importance of the case, right? Or maybe there's no similarity at all. Maybe I just pull in its strings, but all Kate did was be herself. It's like, it's like Muffin. All Muffin did was be herself, and herself was courageous, and herself was brave, and she died for it. And, and, and mind you, if, if, if we interrogate the story, we'll understand that the strength that she gave, Kate. The, the, what she endured. What she endured, and, and continued said, no, I will not give in. Yeah. So it shows the strength of Bohemian woman. Yeah. Uh, also, but I have a critique also of the national honors. It says, "Good morning, Cecil. First, applaud you and Aaron for having the foresight, the foresight to dis discuss these highly delicate national issues. But the honors lists appear to be very subjective. There are many outstanding persons who have made them, made tremendous sacrifices and for the development of the Bahamas, but have been overlooked." Criteria has been thrown over the window. It goes on again, says, how can the photo photogra photographer, photographer? Be, photographer yeah, yeah. Uh, be honored ahead of the, uh, before, of the subject. before the head of the national dailies? So, so apparently the national dailies head was not honored, but the photographer in that same, same I guess, paper got honored before that. So I, I see the concern. Right, like th there's a lack of clarity around the criteria and the decision-making process, right? Is there a strict protocol? Um, like, for instance, I see we got a caller there. I don't know if you want to go to the caller first. No, explain your point, then we go to the All right, call. so for instance, I felt a way about, like, I'm not, I don't want to focus on my mother, but I got to tell my mother congratulations. Yes. I got to tell my mother congratulations because I, I lived this with her. Mm -hmm. The I, sacrifice. Right. The, the, the absentee the, uh, while she was growing up. Right. But I was so glad that Brayman called in because Brayman could say something that I couldn't say, at least not without him saying it, right? Every day, because I wear my mother's face and, and, and I speak with her voice. Every day people stop me. Oh, I knew your mother, what she did for me. Girl, let me tell you how your mother helped me when I was in so-and-so, right? This is what I get plagued with. Now, not every, nobody's perfect. The people ain't gonna come to me and tell me the, 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 their hurt feelings. Mm -hmm. But I can't go a day without being... Uh, rem reminded. reminded that mm. I wear my mother's face. I wear a voice by people who have benefited from who she is and the work that she's done, right? And I think that all of these honorees deserve that, that the public can hear why they were selected. So one of these days we have a call-in show and have people... Who are on the list and, and try to reach out to them to prepare them yeah. and have people... Who are on the list? Oh, people call in and say, "Well, I like this person, and this why." Like Reverend Father James Bertram Moultrie, Moultrie love for him to yeah. come in, and yeah. I think he would be a part of a wonderful discussion. I was trying to pull up on my phone the honors list from last year because Joseph Robert Love is being honored again. Doctor Love. Yeah. He was honored before. Yeah. I but think he was honored last year. Per per perhaps on a, in a different category, maybe. Right, perhaps in a different category. So I'm pulling up the, trying to pull up the list now from last you year. You do that and let me go to the caller then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, producer Pastor Caller through. Go ahead, caller. Can you hear us? Yeah, good morning, CA. Good morning, Miss Green. Good morning. I hope you're all doing well this morning. Oh, yes, well. sir. Thank you. Hey, hey, CA, use a real, use a real, and you use something else, you know, CA. You know exactly me. the point that mom was trying to make with that independence thing, and you, you're just pushing them out of pride thing. Use something else, you know, CA. Pray for me. Yeah, but, 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 um, I think a good thing we could do is how how familiar everyone is with um, Sir Linden's, um speech about if you don't fight for the country, you could lose it, right? How oh, everyone's so familiar with that, right? I think everyone should be familiar also with that recording that shows him talking about what type of independence he wants. How he how he did how he didn't want real independence, but just some type of internal governance. I think that is something that every Bahamian should watch and understand. I, I feel as if we should, you know. Uh, we should know it as, as much as so, we know that uh, Carla, fight for your country thing. Let me ask you a question. I think both statements are not just like worthy of interrogation, but that we should really uh, focus on. Could it be a 
a, a structural strategy where, first of all, you're talking to people, you ain't quite sure what their position is and whether they can let you be free or not. So you're guarded with your words. It's like, I don't tell them I want to move out the house. I can tell them, look here, I just want a thing on the side. But um, could it have been a, a structural strategy understanding the limitations of resources available to us as an independent nation? Like, look here, let's try stall this thing for a little 20 years and at least see how much we can, of the country we could develop in self-governance before we transition to full independence. Could it be that? And, and then would that validate it as a reasonable response, even if it wasn't the one you would take? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that was, that was the case. Ms. Green, I, I feel as if um, they didn't really have no because because um, from the beginning it seemed as if like we weren't really uh, pushing for that. It seemed as if um, independence was pushed on us. You know what I mean? So those who mm -hmm. who, 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 who um, took charge didn't have a plan. They you know they didn't have a goal. I mean a, a direction for self determination. You know mm -hmm. you know that kind of way. And, and, and from what I heard, like they were so excited just to even have the position like like this euphoric. Um, a mindset existed among them that, hey, look here, man, I can't believe we, we, we actually run in this country. You, you, know, you know, that kind of way. And, and furthermore, the actions that were taken 20 years, because the, the individual you're talking about was in power for, for 20 plus years, and so we didn't see the, 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 um, the strategy being put in place that you were talking about that would eventually free us up and he could speak how he wanted it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, 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 but when it comes to the suggestions of, of, of national heroes, I feel as if Miles Monroe should be a candidate. You know, even though I don't agree with everything that the man said, I feel as if he, um, um, the, the, what he did and the impact he made internationally, I feel as if he, he, he deserves um, to be uh, named as a national hero, a guy, especially considering some of the individuals who I heard are already national heroes. You know, that kind of, I feel as if his works, because that, that was his work, like, I mean, he... You know what I mean? That that that, that was his effort, his determination, and and his focus that 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 um that that has has continued to inspire so many people around the world today. But but what I want to ask you and um C A Ms. Green is, you all ever really sit back and and think about this country we live in? I mean, like like how it runs, like like I've been mean, the level of corruption, the level of lack of integrity, the level of lack of vision, the le the, the level of no solutions, the level of no hope. I mean, like, y'all ever really sit back and think about it? Because, like, if you do, it's, it, it's a real scary situation, you know. I try to, I try to figure out why you're trying to rile me up this morning. You don't think I'd be thinking about those things, cousin? Uh, but listen, I, I want to say... When you really think on. about it? No, no, I want to say thank you very much. I, I want you to, to at least tune in to my show. I know you're listening to CA Show all the time. I, I listen uh, to you too, Mom. You do... Thank you. Show, Mr. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate your level of, uh, but, of intelligence and contribution, Mom. I want you to trust that there are more people talking about these things than you are aware, and it's just a matter of organizing voices so they could be more effective. Yes, I, but I feel one of the greatest things we need to, to dismantle is, is, is personal egos. I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the lack of professionalism in this place is unbelievable. But you all have a good day, and I always enjoy listening to both of you. Thank you very, very much. All right. Absolutely. I, I just, whilst you continue to find your spot, we got to appreciate that when Slyndon made his speech, he's in the middle of an, an election. Mm -hmm. It was a campaign. And a large portion of the Bahamas saying, we want no independence. Right? And as a politician, he had to choose his words Wisely. Carefully, yeah. right? So his speech then was in the middle mm -hmm. to make sure he appeared. Remember, he just, got, <laughs> just went to his election, couldn't lose it <laughs> within the year. So his, his speech was in, in the middle. So and that's what it was. And I want to also mention mm -hmm. that the Bahamas is run by Bahamians. Bahamians manage and direct this, this, this country. So the sum of the parts is based on us. So when you speak of corruption, when you speak, speak of um, malmanagement, um, it is us you're speaking of. It's me you're speaking of. It's I you're speaking of. It's you you're speaking of. What happens in, in this country, it depends on us. So if you think we're getting run bad, it's something that you are doing or not doing. Right. And perhaps it's your absence in the process. And it doesn't mean that you have to participate in the ways that they have set it up. 
You just got to get involved. Just get That's involved. why the song by Dr. Off, producer, I can't believe I ain't played this, that independence. I may beg you when we go into the break or the end of play, um, get involved, get involved by you Dr. Off. Involved. That's the song that, in, I mean, when people ask, how Aaron Green get this way? A part of it was Leela Green putting a culture of volunteerism in me. And, and Audrey, Barbara, Burrow, Barbara Carey, Burroughs, yeah. all of them, this culture of volunteerism, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, you say they had to do something, and they did it. At the very least, they ensured that the, like, the young people they get to touch get a sense of what it's all about. This is why I explained to Bremen, I broke. And I broke because I spend money every day in Fox Hill. I mean, the type of charity I to give out and buy and spend. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have no more I money. I see we man. get a couple of calls. You, you find the thing? You well, look for? I, can, I, can, I I'm almost certain that Dr. Joseph Robert Love was honored, if not last year, the year before. But I can't no, I remember because I remember they were talking about the narrative of who he was because people were right. cr critiquing it. But let's go to the caller. Um, and then we can go through the list. Through the the list. Let's go through the, the list. Names, yeah. uh, go ahead, caller. Can you hear me? Yeah, good morning, Miss Green. Good morning, Mr. Neary. Morning, morning. Yeah, and I, I agree with the Rasta man that called us now. You know, he's always on point with these social issues, right? But mm -hmm. uh, C.A. Nui, you, you're kind of halfway incorrect as far as he or we are responsible. I'm not responsible for anything. I'm responsible for myself and my family. Now, as a collective, then we can say that, we, but we live in a society where individualism is bred. And so we know that even from the Machiavellian concept of the white fool, fool the divide and rule, right? So how could then the blame fall on us? But I don't have public office, but I, I agree with you in a sense that the cohesive nature of us would bring about accountability, right? And, and I, I, it's, it's undeniable, but then it, it's, it's frightening, like, like the Rasta said, but I, I want to get this in with, with my uh, national heroes. I, I, I don't have a problem with Father Sebastian Campbell, right? But here would be for me Mr. Paul Thompson, right? The former commissioner of police who was, when I was a young man, because if you see what the police force is today, he's turning over in his grave, okay? And I'm sorry that he's, he's dead because, you know, I would have liked to hear from him. I really would like it. Everybody should have. And then Samarla Butler. Yeah, and then uh, Sir Randall Folks for me. And so the reason why I say Samarla Butler, during a time of great subservience, people were telling him he's upsetting mass of them. But he continued to uh, agitate, and he was an activist, and he set an example, et cetera. We know why Sir Randall Folks, et cetera, et cetera. But for, 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 for me, uh, lack of vision and suffering from man-made decision, all of us, right? And so when we live in a society where we deny things that we can see blatantly, like I said, you don't need a brain. Where knowledge stops is where you use superstition. But you can replace superstition with using common sense. So we can go in the archival newspaper headlines and establish a chronology of corruption in immigration and on the police force. It, uh, it takes nefarious activity has been going on for decades and decades. I'm not going to talk about... Uh, the death of black people in the custody, many other things. Okay. So once we do not acknowledge it as a collective, then we are a part of the problem, like you say, Mr. Nui, whether it be political, whatever it be. But who is benefiting from our, us being civically lazy? The politicians. It's a, it's a politician's paradise. And so as it relates to independence, I had had many conversations with Dr. Donaldson, and he, would, he was always give me information as me and him talk sometimes. But I, I can't, as vaguely, but I remember him saying that these guys, were, uh, some of them left England before signing certain things or whatever. But somebody older than me could, could document it. But we must remember that these mechanisms of governor general and, and these type of systems that they leave, they left in place in Africa and other places to ensure their influence and their presence. So even though they was given independence, they had, they had sense to leave mechanisms in place to ensure their colonialistic concepts still Rain on to this day. You know, my brother was about 10 years old, and he stood in the parade, and I remember somebody fainted in front of him, and he vividly told me that the queen uh, intentionally put on her gloves before she shake, shook these niggas on. I ain't into no one. That's what I see. Give thanks. Thank okay. you, 52. Um, um, you quick, want to go through the list? Yeah, go through the list. Go Two ahead. quick texts. Someone has to, the text says someone has to submit a form on behalf of the person, yes. and the committee decides who may or may not get a national honor. We know that part. It's what is the criteria used to determine whether that person fits, whether the, term, the person should be considered at all, and then which category they fit in. Another text, need an honors website with all the bio of all the members so our children can read it, at the very least, so your children can read it, but the, our children collectively. Two more calls, Mr. Nuri, sitting there, one is already read. Okay. Let's go to the first, first caller, then caller. we can get to the list. Good morning, caller. Good morning, caller. You still there? Good morning. No, let's go to the next caller. Let's go to the next one. 
Good morning, caller. Star, hello. Hi, good, good morning. Good morning, I congratulate. Alexa, Star, congratulations to your mommy, Miss Green. Why, thank you. Yeah, I actually play a role with us disabled people over the year. Yes, uh, in her time in social services uh -huh. as PS, and then yeah. I know in the AG's office as you PS. People like them. See, while she's still a lot, oh I shouldn't say that, but I mean, while they in the good sense of the government, I mean, we, knowing government just continues and want to bring out the best, not to clog up the system or nothing, mm -hmm. but be able to train and, and, and show the younger set. Well, you to, see, you uh, know, and some of the things that they might have yeah, wished they yeah, had could have do. Papa, one sec. Yeah, uh -huh. Papa, one second. So, Pia Glover, Minister Pia Glover, uh -huh. in her capacity as Minister, I think, for Labor uh -huh. and Public Service. Uh -huh. Anyway, they've been talking about training, a training institution, like in house for public servants. Uh -huh. And that'd be the perfect space for these yeah. people to come back into the, the, the idea you have. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. yes. I remember the name of Bob. Would you say Barbara? Kerry. Barbara Carey Burroughs. Burroughs. Yeah, I, I think she was a social worker before. She's the worker yes. from Wolf Road branch upstairs there across from the McKinney Bar or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I think she, she didn't move up and something. And I remember the experience, like, it's supposed to be if, if just the same person. Uh, uh, a beautiful lady, but, but, and I could see her. Uh, but um, she, she was humble and listen, listen to what you have to say. Mm -hmm. You understand, in spite of being an adult and you being a child, that's what I could remember. And I think she moved up, and I think she was continuing to do. You can't afford to just have these people and sit these people like them. I think it's a good idea. Like how you say the gang do that thing, Miss Glover them. Um, but, but you know, you, you might not like this, right? But mm -hmm. I think you should add Miles Monroe to be the national hero. I wish, uh, 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 would they call it postponing? Like when you're dead, posthumously. I, I wish they could even do it. If, if it might be too late now, but you know, a person like that. And and you might know on head, but the staff with science play a role to be a national hero in this country. Or I just too, too, too young enough to understand why he shouldn't. But what from what I understand, I think the staff with science and people like. Miles Monroe, them, they should be out of there, not just politicians, you know? Okay, absolutely. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, producer, let's go to that. Let's check the second call quickly. Good morning, caller. Hello. Hi, good morning, ma'am. Yeah, I'd like to say good morning, show. Yes, ma'am, you're on the air right now. Perhaps you could move to a more quiet space. In the background, yeah, I'm yeah. in a noisy area, but anyhow, all, all I have to say, right? Yes. Amen. How problem the um the police have a problem with the behemoth down Bay Street. You get in chase all over the place. Pompey Square, you can you can't see that yes. I am just a retiree. Me and daughter. And we come and we sit down and we go home. Yes, they don't want you in the green spot on Pompey Square, they don't want you there. Then they chase it wherever you sit, they chase you. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much, ma'am. I Yeah, please, I'd like you all to say something about that, okay? Absolutely. Yes, Why not? I mean, we've, we've spoken to it. Remember when that uh, unfortunate statement was made and somebody referenced vomits but weren't clear about whether they meant the actual rodents on ta in town? Minister of Tourism mentioned it. Right, because we have a Department of, of Environmental Health that deals with rodents. Uh, there is a problem. For decades, for decades now, Bahamians have been made to feel like Bay Street is not for them to be there. See, that we talked about the reason why Junkanoo has to remain on Bay. Because Bay belongs to the people, right? When it was just young, scruffy men coming off the bus and refusing to tuck their shirt in, we didn't have a problem with police giving them two screamers. That's when they slap you so hard, your neck scream. Nothing could come out your mouth, your neck scream. We do have a problem, ma'am, and retirees, senior citizens, being told that there's no space for them on Bay Street? I mean, you're already not creating enough space for the tourists, and then you go run Bahamians from it? That can't be 51 years of independence, Bahamas. Ma'am, we're going to continue to have that discussion. We're going to a break. This is Guardian Radio AM with C.A. Nuri. We'll be right back, and then we're going to spend these last few minutes with the text and getting into the list. We'll be right back. Don't be no fool, stay in school. Let your mind become a tool. Jake will make for fools to be. Locked away from society, society, society. Get involved, get involved. Get involved. 
Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. You try to rest, but roll with the best. For all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no. For posters and binders, magazines and flyers. For window decals, reading cards and newsletters. No job too big and there's no job too small. You name it, we can print it. Just give us a call. Let print masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. And welcome back to Guardian Radio AM. This is C.A. Nuri. We're having an open line Thursday today, but Erin wants to read this list, and she's not going through this list quick enough. Yeah, so I even start. That's just sad. So let's go order of the Bahamas, and then we get end with a couple of texts. I see you there, Texas. Some great texts. Another thing that needs to be defined is what dishonorable conduct strips you of an honor. That is a common concept in the, minis- in the military. So, nice text. Interesting, worthy of discussion. Another text says, yes, Miles Monroe, no way, Stafford Sands. I don't know why, because you all love that model. Mm -hmm. My my mommy loved that. Bring them in and send them home with no money in their pocket. Order of the Bahamas companion, Bradley Roberts, posthumously. The Honorable Frank Frank Howard Watson, CD. What did Frank Watson do? Go ahead, continue. You don't want me to answer that question. No, no, no. He but he got a whole boulevard. Yeah. And so when we talk about the criteria and the protocol for these things, how you get a boulevard before you get a national honor? No, no, don't worry about it. Just continue the list. I'm still okay. on these with Frank Watson, though. Go ahead. Idris Reed. I like him. Neville Wisdom. Okay. I don't know what he did either. But it's sports. Let's stick with sports. It, it has to be sports. To because be sports. the, the base and name is N.O. Wisdom. Mm. It, it have to be sports. Okay. Cyril... And I say that tongue-in-cheek because Mr. Wisdom, I think, was a wonderful minister working with my mother. I think he was great to my mom. So I, I we talk about spectacular speak. ministers, man. But oh, okay, let's, then. Let's go Cyril St. John Stevenson, MVO, posthumously. Okay. Franklin Wilberforce Joaquin. The Right Reverend Leish Z. Boyd. Okay. Reverend Canon S. Sebastian Campbell, CM. Okay. Now we go to order the Bahamas officer. David Alexander Knowles. Joseph Robert Love, CD, posthumously. Reverend Father James Bertram Moultrie. Order of the Bahamas member, Anita D. Hilton Bernard, CDCMG. Subaltern B. Bethel, KCMG, CMG. Basil O'Brien, CMG. Here's my thing. If you already have like one or two set of letters behind your name, yeah. do you need to wait and let some other people get some letters before you get more letters? I would think so. But what do these things mean? I, there's a number of orders. I'm not sure which one's the highest, this is the lowest. Well, know? there's been printed in order of... Uh, significance? In, yeah, significance. So we started with order of National Hero, okay. Kate Moss, and then we named the six that had already been included on mm-hmm. that list. Order of the Bahamas Companion, then Order of the Bahamas Officer. That's where we are. So we have seven national heroes? Yes. Okay. I want of Bahamians to know that we have seven national heroes. It wasn't even included in this write-up. Hmm. For the, the Governor General, the, the list being released, it wasn't included in the write-up. I thought that, that that's what makes it a learning experience. Okay, so let's go... Bu- Order of the Bahamas officer, we, we got Reverend Father James Moutry. Now we're Order of the Bahamas member, Anita D. Hilton Bernard, CDCMG, Subaltern B. Bethel, KCMG, CMG, Basil O'Brien, CMG, Camille F. Johnson, CMG, Donald McKinney posthumously, Estelle G. Gray Evans, Ethlyn Isaacs, OBE posthumously, Franklin Kennedy McPherson Williams, Herbert C. Joaquin, CMG, OBE, CVO, posthumously. Indira Nicole Demerit Francis. Leonard Joseph Knowles, posthumously. Margaret McDonald, CBE, CVO, posthumously. I know Margaret McDonald. You she, she used to be a pastor at Transfiguration Baptist Church about 40 years ago. She died about 40 years ago. Yeah, yeah this yeah, was definitely yeah. posthumously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Leonard Joseph Knowles. Maxwell James Thompson, OBE, posthumously. Patricia Fountain Lady Isaacs, posthumously. Nice. 
uh, Rodney Ezekiel Bain, posthumously, and I think that's Rodney E. Bain, Rodney building, Bain building, registrar, former registrar office. Yeah. They're in the process of transitioning, I think. They should be. They just made the declaration. They yeah, y'all stop putting these people's names on buildings you have no reverence or respect for. Wendell G. Major, OBE. Order of Excellence, James Lawler. That's good. I, I know him. The he has, historian? He's a historian and he has contributed greatly to the Bahamas, being, especially being foreign, mm -hmm. becoming nationalized and then committed to the country. And if you want to know why Aaron Green is so damn critical all the time, it's because I was fortunate enough to take a, a Philosophy 101 course with Mr. James Lawler yeah, when nice. I went to see OB. John Joseph Isa. Isa? Isa is also Order of Excellence. It's two people for Order of Excellence. Then Order of Distinction Companion, Albert Sidney Ferguson, Angela Missouri Sherman Peter, Anthony Alfred Adley, Audrey Eloise Major Role, Barbara Carey Burroughs, and I think Barbara Carey Burroughs is also posthumously. Mm -hmm. um, Barbara Zonical, Belinda Magdalene Wilson. Is that Belinda Wilson from I Beauty? I think it's Belinda Wilson. Okay. Personnel A. Bethel. But maybe it's not because they put the Magdalene there maybe to make a distinction. We don't know a male name. We don't have a bio either, which would have helped us clear it up. Bernadette Thompson Murray, Caleb Bernard Osborne Hepburn, posthumously Calvin Balfour, Carl Francis Smith, Charles James Turner, Christopher, sorry, Charles Christopher Albury, Cheryl Marie Darville, Colin Dean, posthumously Colin Leslie Higgs, Colleen Nordich. Good morning. So a lot of these are PSs that I would have called Auntie when I was growing up. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a text uh, of correction saying that Margaret McDonald was secretary to the cabinet and, and ambassador. Not a, I mean, thank you for the information. No, I, but that's the reason why we need narratives. Exactly, that's <laughs> why we need a bio. Apparently you have different Margaret McDonald's. Cresswell Stirrup, ah, Cynthia Lorraine Duvalier, Cynthia Gibbs, good morning, Mrs. Gibbs. Charles... Charles Davidson Hepburn, OBE, Diana Lightborn. This says D O A N Clear. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Joan Clear or Dawn Clear. Earl H. Seymour, Edwin Culmer, Elikum George Moss, posthumously, Elise Delancey, Elliston Ramming, Elma Garraway, MBE. Good morning, ma'am. Emily Monique Williams, Ernest John Bow, Eugenia C. Cartwright, O.D. Franklin August, Augustus Butler the second. Um, you know, read Excuse these. Me? Read those texts. Uh, hold on, which yes, one? Which Franklin was that? Franklin Butler. Augustus. Frank, Franklin Butler. I'm not sure right. which one. Franklin that. Augustus Butler the second. Okay. Franklin J. Something. Kemp, Janine Renee Moss, Glenn Samuel Benaby, Glenn Gomez, Godfrey Randolph Williams, Harcourt Victor Brown, Harold Munnings, OBE, posthumously, we know that name. Is Harcourt Brown posthumously also? It doesn't say that, no. Okay, so different Harcourt Brown. Probably. Possibly, but I think there, there are some corrections to be made in terms of that on the list. Uh, Harrison Thompson, Hyacinth Winder Pratt, Irene Patricia Clark Stubbs, Ivan Ford Butler Jr., James Allardis Campbell, MBE, posthumously, James Anthony Tony McKinney, Janine McCartney Jeffeth, Edison Delavaux, posthumously, Jean Jeanette Bethel, Jennifer Johnson, John Berkeley Peanuts Taylor, MBE, John Addington ruled posthumously Joshua Sayers, Kelsey Dorset, Larry Demerit, Leanza Elizabeth Gardner Keju, uh, Mrs. Leela Green, Mitchell, Leela Mitchell Green. I'm going to just put that in there a little yes. bit for the Mitchell family. I just noted that to mention to you that Barbara Carey Burroughs is alive. She is? Yeah, she's alive. According to the text. Oh, I in trouble. I ain't going to see my auntie in about 75 years. Mm -hmm. Could this be a different Barbara. It, I mean, it could be. Yeah. I gotta go check. Oh, pinches, Mr. Nure, gonna get pinches. Joshua says, Kelsey Dorset, Larry Demerit, Leona Rosalie Jane Fernanda Samuda, posthumously, Luther Emerson Smith, Maisie Evans, Marco Roll, Mary Mitchell, Mary Sweetnam, Nehemiah Wayward Francis, posthumously, Melvin Carvel Seymour. Obviously, we won't get to name, we read all the names on the list. I gotta say, Patrick Ernest. Bailey, posthumously, my good, good Uncle Pat, who took 
care of us when my father passed. You're going to be out of time. Yep. End the show. Yep. This has been Guardian Radio AM with C.A. Nuri. Thank you very much, Aaron Green. Thank I'm, you for I this enjoyed place. you listening to the names off, actually. I needed to say them out loud that people know that they're... Get involved, get involved.